how can we establish convergence of a power shear solution of a differential equation in a more difficult test? It's a case. Can we still use the ratio test? Well, yes, we can, in principle, though it might become tricky to execute, as you'll see an example in this video. So we have the uh, differential equation of an earlier video, uh, y double minus 2x times y prime plus y equals 0. Uh, we found power series solutions. Uh, we had even terms plus odd terms and the coefficients of the even terms that look like this and of the coefficients of the odd terms look like that. And we're going to do the ratio test which will give us pointwise convergence. So for for every fixed x we'll uh, compute uh, the ratio of uh, an plus 1 over an and then send n to infinity for x fixed. So uh, we'll split the problem into uh, two subproblems. First we will take a look at the uh, convergence of the even part of the power series and then into the convergence of the odd part of the power series. So we uh, know C2n plus 2. It's over there because we have our C2n here. So we just plug in n plus 1 over there. So what you get is an additional 4n minus 1 over here. And you get an additional 2n plus 2 and 2n plus 1 over there. So if you divide C2n plus 2 by C2n, what you're left with is only those additional terms 4n minus 1 over 2n plus 2, 2n plus 1. So if you execute the ratio test, you get the quotient over here. From the uh, x to the power 2n plus 2 over x to the power 2n, you're left with an x squared. Now, for all x fixed, this limit equals 0. You can, for example, divide by n squared in numerator and denominator. You see this limit equals 0 if n uh, goes to infinity, which means that the first power series converges for all x. Second power series. Here we have C2n plus 1. We can compute C2n plus 3 by plugging in n plus 1 into C2n plus 1. So we get uh, an additional 4n plus 1 over here. And we get a 2n plus 3 factorial, so we, which becomes a 2n plus 3, 2n plus 2 times 2n plus 1 factorial. So the extra terms with respect to C2n plus 1 are the 4n plus 1 in the numerator and 2n plus 3 and 2n plus 2 in the denominator. So you, if you divide C2n plus 3 over C2n plus 1, you are left with only this term over here. Then again, same trick, take the absolute value limit n to infinity. Again, you see you can divide by n squared. So you see the uh, limit n to infinity of this part equals 0. Uh, the, uh, the, uh, you get a x squared from the x to the power 2n plus 3 of x to the power 2n plus 1. But that's fixed. If you take a uh, limit n to infinity, uh, this limit equals 0 for all x squared, which means that this second power series also converges for all x. And then we know uh, the sum of convergence series is convergence. So this series converges, that series converges. So our y of x converges to the sum for all x 